Enchanted Forest and Water Safari is a hybrid amusement and water park in Old Forge, New York. Not too many coaster enthusiasts make it here. Heck, I am not even sure if many coaster enthusiasts know of this park because they've been without a coaster for decades. But this is a really cool park. You have a deep water slide lineup, some older amusement rides, and a charming storybook lane walkthrough area. So in this video, I will count down the top 15 attractions at this park. And if you're not familiar with this park, the Water Safari Sai is the far more popular area of the park, and it has gotten far more investment in recent years, which is why the list will skew heavily towards water slides, especially because the amusement side consists exclusively of flat rides and some observation rides. Before starting the list, I need to note that I will be excluding shows. That being said, do not miss this park's circus. This is a hit with locals, and there are some exciting stunts done here, particularly towards the end with the motorcycle cage. Starting off the list at number 15 is the Scrambler. This spinning ride is a good program. It has above average speed for this type of ride, resulting in sustained laterals throughout. Then the ride runs for a long time as well, which is a theme with all the flat rides on the amusement side. Number 14, Rondax Run. This tube slide is fairly mild, but it may have the most egregious use of waterfalls of any water slide. Anytime you transition from a cover to open section, and this happens a few times, you are nailed by a waterfall, which feels quite good in a hot summer day. Number 13, Black River. This tube slide has a nearly identical layout to the prior ride with one key change. Replace the waterfalls with a pitch black course. This makes the small dips and okay turns even more effective because you cannot anticipate them. Number 12, The Roundup. This classic spinning ride has nice sustained G's start to finish. You are plastered to the wall, and has a nice long cycle too. The ride only goes up 45 degrees, but the rate of rotation makes up for that. Just be careful which seat you choose. The pad height can vary. You want the pad to be against your head, Otherwise, the G's can be very uncomfortable as your head will be pressed against a metal grate instead. Number 11, Cascade Falls. This is a fairly standard family raft slide. You have some dips and turns that'll push the raft up the walls a bit, but it's not nearly as extreme as other versions out there. That being said, I take this over your average tube slide. Number 10, Amazon. This is the weirder of the two family raft slides here. For one, single riders are allowed. I have never seen that on this type of ride before. Two, the trough feels like it was made out of concrete. Unfortunately, this does make it a bit uncomfortable as you feel every bump though along the route. Three, this ride has a much slower course than usual as it hugs the hillside the whole way down. And as a bonus, you have some water sprayers too on the way down. And for thrills, the raft can spin like a top at a few points to compensate for the slower speed. Number 9, Kilimanjaro's Revenge. Usually, I have these trapdoor slides way higher than this. I love the suspense the floor drops out, especially on this one because the employee was bashing on the plexiglass during the countdown. This particular one goes straight down, and the slide is a fast rush. It's mostly smooth too, minus a bumpy pullout but this one has two issues holding it back. First, the drop is not steep enough to offer a free fall sensation like some of them. Second, the ride feels like it's drowning you. I've ridden many of these trapdoor slides, but I've never had the water blast you in the face like this one does. It's sort of uncomfortable. Number eight, Shadow. This is a duo of body slides, decently tall ones too. Both have good length to them, the left side's enclosed part is pretty forgettable, but the outdoor part at the end is okay speed in one good turn. I prefer the right side though. This one has a better enclosed section and a wild turn exiting this part. Number 7, Storybook Lane. This is an adorable walk through through the woods. If you're familiar with Idlewild Storybook Forest or Efteling's Fairy Tale Forest, this is a similar type of area. You have over a dozen displays showcasing popular fairy tales. While you don't have a Disney budget here, the whole area oozes charm and there's plenty to see. 
Each display also has narration to it. It is on a timed loop though, so you may have to wait a bit each display before it kicks in. Number 6. Skyride. This is the single best way to see the park. This chairlift spans the entire length of the park. There's just one station, but you get a wonderful aerial tour of both the water park and storybook lane as well. And this one also some shocking near misses with the trees. The clearances are so tight that the outward and return legs had to be placed at different heights. Number 5. Bombay Blasters. This is one of those shotgun style body slides that launch you into the water. The height differential is not as high as some of them, but it is still cool flying through the air before hitting that pool. But what makes this one noticeably better is that the slide preceding that moment is pretty good too. Most are just a short straight drop. This one is a much larger drop at the start, and it is followed by a super tight turn. It is a wild directional change that really throws you up the wall, making the subsequent exit into the pool all the more startling. Number 4. Mamba Strike This is the most thrilling slide in the water side. This trapdoor slide is a smaller drop than Kilimanjaro, but it compensates by following up with a tight spiral. It is a fast and fun maneuver. As with Kilimanjaro, you have a suspenseful plunge at the start, but you also have the same issues as that slide. There's no airtime, and the deluge of water nails you at the start. And it's a bit more uncomfortable in this one with a fully enclosed tube, so beware if you're claustrophobic. Number 3. Curse of the Silverback This pro slide tube slides the park's most popular water slide, so be sure to hit it early. The experience starts with a large and satisfying drop. You get some good speed here. Then you shoot into a giant toilet bowl. This visual is always cool, but especially here because you have a giant gorilla statue in the center. Number 2. Rocco Plane This irely flat rise is easily the most extreme attraction on the amusement side, if you want it to be. This is basically a ferris wheel that's a bit faster, and riders can control how much or how little they flip. If you throw your weight around, you can get many full flips. You can either chain these together to get super dizzy, or you can time them over the top for some fun weightlessness. Alternatively, you can hold the brake to get oodles of hang time, and this is a long cycle time too. It was so long that I came off with a bruise from the seatbelt and all the hang time I experienced. And coming in number one is Raging Rapids. This is an old school tube slide featuring elements of whitewater rafting. It is an ultra scenic course that winds its way down the hill, through a cavern, and underneath trees. Then the ride is rowdy too. It is filled with rapids that throw the raft around, and it is possible to end up going backwards as they spin you about. Then you also have these abrupt little dips giving pops of air time too. The visuals, aggression, and uniqueness of this slide made it my favorite attraction here. They do not make water slides like this anymore. So those are the top 15 rides and attractions at Enchanted Forest and Water Safari in New York. This park has a great variety of attractions ranging from water slides to amusement rides all the way to themed experiences. What are your favorite attractions of this park? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this countdown, I would appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.